Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It feels so good to be able to sit here to pull cards and see what spirit has for us for this week. What messages need to be delivered? What messages need to be heard? For those of you guys that don't know, I just recently released, released my complete guide to 2022, the full astrological and intuitive breakdown for this year that we're currently in, 2022. This is a breakdown of every single week for this year, as well as a chunk, well, chapter, I should say, of rituals and intentions that I have written and created for you to work your magic in the year 2022, the year of harmony and alignment. Um, wow, dude, you guys, these cards are coming out fast. I'm really curious to see what spirit has to say to us. This card is really standing out to me right now. I'm not sure why. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I feel like we need one more. Um, I'm sorry. The <laughs> spirit is clearly like speaking right now. So I want to just dive into this reading instead of finish what it was I was saying. However, the, the book is, um, the links for the book are down below. Right away, you guys, I, I'm just going to dive right in. I can see some level of conflict and tension. I just, it's funny because I just heard this was written in the stars. This is something that was unexpected, clearly with the tower card here. It was something that needed to be addressed or something that needed to be stated, something that needed to be said. And it just came out in full force. I heard um, brute strength, but it's interesting because I don't see this as physical strength. I see this as someone's mental or emotional resistance, the blockages, a block, uh, a blockade that they create to create as a barrier so that people cannot come in. They've almost isolated themselves. This person or this thing or maybe this energy that is showing up within you I really want you to be careful with this um, this is a very specific message for someone and this is just jumping out right away. I really want you to be um, careful with this and as I'm looking at it, the Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck because this person or, and there's also communication coming in, this person or this aspect within yourself is coming from a very wounded, guarded I heard old fashioned way. So it's something that they, how they normally deal with things or how you normally deal with things. You want to call that into question. This is not, there's, you want to be very, you want to steer away from accusatory language. You want to steer away from making assumptions about someone or making assumptions about a situation because chances are you're going to be wrong. The, the guesses that you're making about a person or the things that it is that you're assuming about a person are inaccurate. Um, five of Wands here is the card of conflict, but I'm also hearing um, Spirit said conflict that leads to resolution if you're, if, you're, if you're careful, if you're deliberate. Why are we, I'm hearing the question, why are we fighting? Where, where is this coming from? What is the root of this? Again, this is... Um, I just heard a minute for the long haul. So this might be a friendship, a connection or something that you ideally would have liked to see last. However, there is a breakdown in the dynamic of the, the, the group or the dynamic of the friendship, the dynamic within yourself that is trying to reveal to you a truth that has, a prop, has been a problem for a long, long time. When this happens, seven of wands, it takes you off guard. It literally, it's like you're, it, it, it takes you off, it throws you off guard because it's not something that is that you're expecting. I just heard you get like thrown into an infinite loop. Maybe the person that you're dealing with, it's like an infinite loop for them of, well, I think it kind of like triggers anxiety or something, like some type of like, it, th it just completely throws you off. You feel ganged up on, you feel unsupported is what it is that I've heard. You feel challenged. Um, you're, you're, you feel really, really challenged, like meaning like you, you, whatever it is that is being said, whatever is being stated, look, we have, my goodness. Yeah. We're going to need a little pause here. And the root of this <clears throat> is five of cups. Without this, we cannot move forward. 
So Ace of Cups is here, Strength card. Let me take a step back and Two of Swords. So there's going to be an, a need this week for a brief hiatus. It's interesting because Mars and Venus, at the time of me filming this, um, Mars and Venus just entered into the sign of Aquarius and they are literally conjunct each other, which means Mars, the planet of war <laughs> and um, like ambition and motivation has entered into such an emotionally detached sign of Aquarius, needing some space, needing to put things on stalemate just for a little bit, just to see the greater, um, the greater picture. This person, it, if they're it's interesting because someone is hurt or you're hurt there's like two sides of this situation that i'm seeing someone is really really hurt and also when they get hurt they pull into this cold place and that's what it is that i'm seeing um also venus rules relationships partnership and the the, the desire to har harmonize and to align when she's sitting in the sign of um aquarius she's gonna need some space as well and the two of them together they want to come together so there is the ability to reconcile and to figure these things out, but you're going to want to do it from a space of calmness, vulnerability, emotional transparency, and that's going to take a lot of inner strength because what it is that you're facing is something that feels very cold, emotionally distant, pulled away from you. It's like calling into an, a cave that's like an echo. The more that you try to tell them your feelings or the more that you try to figure out your feelings, the more it's like... It's like you're, I don't know, well, something happened here. What what happened? I would love to hear this. Either way, um, Five of Cups is here. So there is this feeling of um, real deep sadness. I, I feel like if this is having to deal with a person, you feel, you guys are mirroring each other. And like, I don't want to, I hate that this happened. Like the friendship, the connection, the relationship, this alliance feels very wounded and the energy feels i don't say bitter but but um like just like broken like a, a a broken a broken connection here that just came spontaneously and you guys are genuinely not going to be able to move forward if this is not an, an a, a person that you're working with this is something that is happening within you that is really testing your commitment to yourself or your conviction to yourself or how you or your conviction is something like it's really testing you on a deep a deep level it makes it's bringing awareness into you again this like loop of way that you think about things how you perceive things what you accept what you receive what you're for what you're against it's calling all those things into question and spirits like you need to explore it this week yeah you don't have a choice oh my my goodness sorry guys you don't have a choice. Something will light up here. We do have, it's going to be difficult though. I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be difficult. Um, yeah, death card reversed here. You can't, you're literally not going to be able to move forward. Or spirit is saying, do not move forward without addressing this situation. Do not move forward without... Um, you, you can't, okay, this is what it is that I'm going to say, and this is how I feel the message is coming through. This, whatever it is that is bubbling up here, whatever it is that happened, you cannot sweep it under the rug. Um, if you do, well, I'm not going to tell you what you can and cannot do. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't sweep it under the rug. And I feel like spirit is guiding you to make sure that you don't sweep it under the rug because this, this conversation, this revelation this truth this feeling that you're feeling this pattern of behavior this concept this way that you view others or how you're viewing a situation it has to be um laid to rest in some way there needs to be some level of clarity it's not I do see that, um, and this is a very specific message for someone. Again, like I genuinely had to like stop what it was I was saying because Spirit was like, all right, let's go. Um, I do see the, the opportunity of reconciliation here. I do see the ability to come together. Um, I'm also hearing it won't be the same, but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. 
there's the potential to understand the shadow of why someone does what they do, why they say what they say, why they feel what they feel, why they hear what they hear, like all of these things. They come, you're going to gain greater clarity into them, into the situation or into yourself if this is something that is happening within you. That was really shocking for me. But again, seven of wands, I, oh, goodness, spirit. That came in like a sledgehammer, but honestly, that's kind of like how this energy actually is. Guys, pardon my, my hands, man. They've, I've been gardening a lot. I went kayaking yesterday. Um, writing, it's just, when I'm just, in the zone i don't like to have any any distractions you know <laughs> including like acrylic nails and sometimes with my life it just doesn't yeah ace of swords here reverse and seven of swords you have to see whatever it is that spirit is trying to show you there's an ant right here you guys but also because i just picked this flower from my garden this is the last gardenia they smell so beautiful and i really was like cleansing the deck for you guys before i started shuffling and pulling and look you might see a little bit of bugs so if you see an ant crawl by it's because my gardenia is sitting here and there's some bugs on it but i don't mind because um this gardenia is so pretty anyways also, it's a little brown around the edges because it's one of the older gardenias. I wanted to leave the, the new ones. I wanted to let them continue to grow. All right. Look, there's a bug, a bigger bug on there. A little guy just living his best life. Okay. Anyways, um, and maybe the gardenia is a message for someone. If you guys would like to look up the symbolism of it, I would love to hear what you find on the internet. Okay. Ace of Swords reversed and Seven of Swords. So, look, well, there's another ant. Um, Ace of Swords reversed and Seven of Swords. So, this is unmistaken, unmistakably, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but something that you need to see. <laughs> something that need that you need to see. Something that needs to happen. Something that gets pushed up, a pimple that needs to be popped. It's it's a conversation, it's a thought, it's a truth. It's something that spirit says if this continues to go on, you can't you can't trust this situation. You can't trust this person in this area because not to say that they're malicious, but maybe what they're believing, what they're saying, what they're doing doesn't have your best interest at heart and spirit can sense the fact that you're missing something. You're missing a truth. You're missing a bit of information that they want you to, they want to pull you out of, or they want you to at least be aware of. I heard the word observance. They really want you to see it. You don't necessarily need to do anything yet besides sit and process what it is that you're about to receive as far as information, clarity, communication this week or the time that it is that you're watching this video right now. I do want to say that Ace of Swords plus Seven of Swords creates Eight of Swords. So do not be surprised if this bit of truth or revelation triggers some level of anxiety or internal angst within yourself or within other people. Um, but either way, if you are feeling anxious this week, if you do feel bombarded or if you do feel blindsided, Believe it or not, you're actually on the right path. This is showing you something that you you have to see and observe, even if it can, even if it is a bit difficult, even if it is throwing you for a loop. Spirit, talk to us. Is this a message for everyone, or is there something like what? Oh, wow. Two of cups and six of wands reversed. That changed. And then we have a bunch of jumpers. So let me go chase these real quick. 
All right. We have Hierophant. We have Three of Swords reversed. And we have Judgment card. And I want to... I kind of want to flip this over. Wow, Knight of Swords. So there is, again, a lot of information coming through this week. I just heard unexpected sources. Um, forgive me for saying this, but this is what it is that I'm hearing. It kind of seems like gossip. Um, or information comes from... Maybe you guys aren't used to gossip. Maybe you guys aren't used to asking, you know, for information. But someone has something here. Someone is saying something here that gives you a lot of clarity here it feels kind of gossipy um but i sometimes gossip is bad when you're just doing it all the time and sometimes gossip is good because you want to know what people are saying about you you know or what or sometimes gossip can open up a door for an opportunity that's a blessing you know maybe you hear through word of mouth or through the grapevine, an opportunity that's opening up, or maybe you hear that someone is newly single or, you know, whatever the case is, it's something that could be good. Gossip doesn't always have to be bad unless you're doing it all the time. And if you're malicious with your intention, um, there is, I do, I do feel two messages here. There's one that says there's something about connecting with someone, um, asking them what they have heard or what was said. And that gives you, they know they they've been keeping a record of it they it's gonna help to give you a little bit more truth and enlightenment um so this is one of the old, few times or only times that you'll ever hear me <laughs> um giving advice to be like yeah maybe ask around and see what people have said or what was being said about you behind your back if it's important to you many of you guys will be like yeah i don't care and i feel you um i'm like you Anyways, um, the next thing that it is that I'm seeing here is a flip side. I'm seeing someone flipping a coin and it feels like spirit just showing me there's two sides of the, the coin here. There's two sides of this reading. The other side to this reading is I'm feeling and sensing um, a breakthrough when it comes to intimacy, connection, and a difficult patch that you have been going through when it comes to an alliance or someone that you have harmonized with or you're in a relationship with. Um, if there is someone who has been operating from their ego and on their little high horse, this is when the feeling of them being um, like saying things from their ego or not reaching out to you or saying nothing because of their ego, it becomes so the 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 feeling of satisfaction that they have they had from that no longer is supportive like it's no longer something that they want it doesn't feel good to them anymore and they're finally like what am i doing or okay i'm getting down and i'm gonna reach out and i'm gonna stop being a, a douche like i'm gonna stop being manipulative i'm gonna stop being so hard and again everything that they have been saying holding harboring feelings difficult feelings or how something made them feel or what they were thinking starts to come up to the surface. And you're when you get this information, when you talk to them, you're going to notice, or maybe this is you, you're going to notice a need to be defensive and on guard because for some people, it's easy and effortless in order to share your feelings and share your truth in a way that, you know, is vulnerable and emotional or revealing in some way for others people literally avoid that like the plague <laughs> um and i'm not saying that one is better than the other i i personally am a communicator and i communicate for my feelings if i stop communicating you've got a big problem or you know if i say that i'm done communicating with someone i'm i'm done you know if it, like once that 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 thing comes up you know I, I, and if that's the case i've tried you know and i feel like a lot of you guys are like that too um, so maybe you have given up, maybe you have given up and, and just trying with this person or trying in this, in this circumstance or in this situation. And you, you mean it this time, like you really genuinely mean, meant it. Um, if this is you connecting with the universe, this is you, you having this revelation within yourself. That's like, I am not going to continue to fight and try in a situation that is it's poisonous, it's toxic, or 
I just, maybe the timing is not right or whatever. And that's when a revelation comes through. Okay. I forgot to say that um, if you guys hear any chirping in the background, I have six baby chicks that I've hatched second generation from my homestead. And they are just living their best lives. Okay, Six of Wands, Spirit wants to talk to us about Six of Wands, Spirit speak. We are listening. I feel like normally, yeah, dude, Ace of Swords and the Judgment Card Reverse. I feel like normally, wow, yeah, cannot pass go, cannot move forward, cannot collect $200. You guys, it's almost like giving me Mercury Retrograde vibes, like Retrograde vibes, Ten of Cups. It's something that... I just heard I've been a fool for you or I've been foolish. Five of Cups reverse. Wow. What is happening? What is happening? I heard burnt out. Ace of Wands. Something that got burnt. Something got burnt out. I just heard dissuage. Dis dis dissuage. What is that? I don't know what that was. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is information coming. Yeah, you can't, you cannot. Yeah, guys, this, I said what I said. I mean, there's so many endings here. There's so many, so many things that spirit is like, you, you are going to have to figure this out. You cannot run from this any longer. There's something that needs to be handled this week. And it's going to be you. And it's not going to be easy. But it, it's it's necessary. It's going to be worth it. I'm also hearing, don't panic. Don't panic. You just, you're going to take it one day at a time. And you're going to connect with spirit. You're going to consult spirit. You're going to ask for a blessing or work your magic for a blessing or do a path opening or road opener. You're going to remove any connection or anything, any circumstance, any situation that is deliberate. I just heard the word deliberate. They know what they are doing or you know what you are doing. It is, it's intentionally trying to hurt and harm you. It's intentionally trying to create a blockage. That needs to be dealt with. That's not okay. I'm, um, I'm also getting this vibe of like a bunch of friends sitting at a table gossiping. There's this message of gossip. And I'm actually, I feel like I'm sitting with you, the viewer. And it's me talk. I'm listening to you. And you're telling, I, I'm really getting this message right now. Like you're telling me your side of the story and it feels very unfair. I just heard um, permission, like permission to permission to share, permission to say everything, like say your side or hear, be heard, like be heard, someone hearing you out. And it's like, I'm really getting this message that you've asserted your boundary or you're just being who you are and you uh, being clear on your boundary or you being who you are offends someone because they don't get what they want from their own toxic belief patterns and their own loops of thinking. And that's why spirit is like, you have to dead this. You have to dead this because they're not, they don't have good intention. Like they don't have good, maybe they could, but they don't, you know, there's this message of like, it's like a question of like, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? You're, if you're trying to hurt, I, I'm hearing, if you're trying to hurt me, you're hurting yourself. Like, no one wins. I'm surprised if Five of Swords isn't out here. Tower card. It comes out of nowhere. There is no, if I'm seeing with the Six of Cups, some of you guys are going to want to reconcile and go back to the way that it was. Or go back to the life that it, way that it was. But Spirit is like, you, you can't go back there like that. Like... It's not going to be the same and it's not going to be supportive of you. It's time to carry yourself forward that environment or that dynamic within and it doesn't all have to be abandoned. 
okay? But whatever it is that the truth, Ace of Swords, whatever it is that is going to reveal itself to you has to be seen and has to be cut out. And we all we all have to go through this, you guys. You know, something definitely... It, it could be like you finding out something that you're just like who someone is harmonizing with or what they're choosing to align with or how they're choosing to align. Ten of Swords just jumped out again. Reversed, however. This is a very specific message, so if it doesn't resonate with anyone, it's reson it's going to resonate with those who need to hear it. Page of Cups. Yeah, it just catches you off guard. I just feel like a level of innocence. I heard like capture, something being captured. Ace of Wands keeps wanting to show up. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if someone sh sh like literally knocks on your door, a text message, a phone call comes out of the blue, comes out of nowhere. And it's just like, Hey, I have information or we need to talk or someone just kind of throws something on your desk. Hmm. And that's what's three of cups here. Something just kind of comes out real quick. Okay. It, you could be like literally just innocent, just enjoying your lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you just get a text message and then you're like just thrown for a loop. Like what? Okay, spirit. Moving forward, what else do we need to hear? Is there any positive well, good news this week? Any more information? Anything else that they, they need to hear that they need to receive? There's something that is thriving. I just heard this. There's something that is thriving and there's something that no matter what you try, no matter how much effort you put in, it just won't work. It won't grow. Or it's a comparison. I'm, I'm getting this message of comparison where you can see the truth. You know, sometimes when they say the grass is greener where you water it, that is true. And sometimes the grass is actually greener on the other side and you know that the grass actually is greener over there. So you continually watering this side, it's like, it's just the circumstances just keep getting burnt. Magician card. Okay, spirit speak. You, I just heard you have the power of discernment. You have the power of control. You also have the power of manipulation, meaning like, you can get the heck out of Dodge. Eight of Cups. Don't stay in a situation and don't water a situation that's not working. Yep, full card. Don't be afraid to cut your losses and to free yourself. Page of Swords and Seven of Wands. There's going to be a truth. Or, I mean, Spirit is like repetitive, saying the same things. I'm still pulling the same cards. Spirit is trying to tell you that there's definitely something here, a bit of information. It might catch you off guard, but it's for your greater good. You also have Ten of Pentacles here. This is for your abundance, your growth, your legacy, your longevity, your ability to feed like yourself, um, take care of yourself. We also have Empress cards. Spirit is saying like, you really are deserving of so much more and allow yourself to be pulled in that direction and carry yourself there. Carry yourself and carry, do what you have to do in order to move yourself into quote unquote the promised land, into a better situation. Don't be hesitant to cut off some deep connections. Sometimes cutting off a dead limb or a dead aspect within your life or, you know, creating separation there is a, I just heard there is a cause for separation here. So sometimes creating that and doing that helps to remove the infection, remove the toxic, remove the, the problem so that healing can occur and growth can then occur. It can be painful initially, but it's, it's, it's needed. It's needed. It's healthy. It's good. It's supported at this time. Okay, guys, I have this new deck from one of the, um, local shops in my area oh guys i how could i forget four of wands is here at the base of this reading too and also king of pentacles 
I just see a lot of stability for you once the dead ending has happened. I just think that, and I'm sorry, you guys, you brought you like, I'm here. I am coming back after like a two week hiatus and I don't feel like I have the best, ex, you know, most exciting news. I just feel like this is what spirit and I, I hate making promises that I can't keep. I hate painting a rosy picture if it's not rosy, you know, um, and this is just what it is that I'm seeing right now. And so what Spirit is showing us. Um, and I would like to see us look at the gardenia, the message of the gardenia here. Because I do feel like there is a... I believe that in um, Wisdom of Nature, I believe the gardenia represents emotional protection. But I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. You guys, let me know what you find when you look up the gardenia. Please, like, can you please comment down below? <laughs> like, let's all work together in this situation because I don't know what is going on here. I just wasn't expecting it. I was, like, I was thinking, too, with, like, Mars conjunct Venus, which usually is a pretty awesome transit. Like, but it just doesn't feel... It feels, like, problematic this year. I did, I'm going to have to like genuinely, and I'm not trying to like promote myself, but I'm, that's what the complete guide is there for, to look at the transits, the full breakdown of the transits. And I, I haven't, um, reread what I wrote for March of this, of this week, March 7th. And half the time when I'm channeling message, more than half the time when I'm channeling messages, I don't hear myself when I talk or when I'm channeling because I'm channeling. It's like another part of my brain is working, so I actually don't remember what or hear what it is that I'm saying. So it's going to be news to me. Again, I'll link the guide down below, but there's something going on. Um, I haven't pulled a chart for this week. This week, you know? So I'm going to be referring to the guide shortly after, and I'll leave a, um, a little quote from the book. Um, yeah, the description will be down or the links will be in the description box and also pin in the comments. All right. So like I was saying, this Oracle deck was one that I found in a local shop. I feel like pulling this one first. Freedom is yours. The number 33. That is so interesting because that's really, I just heard what I, I that's, I just heard the word generic um, spirit does not want you to have a generic experience. They don't want you to have generic, um, build a box. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through, but they don't want you to have generic build a box experiences or relationships. They are not authentic. They are going to break down over time. Nothing against Ikea. I've have, I have a lot of, had a lot of Ikea furniture. Ikea kind of stabilized me for a long time. Um, but it's kind of like if you're assembling furniture from Ikea, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good stuff from Ikea, and there's a lot of things that are maybe like two years, they just kind of break down. And that's what it is that I'm seeing here, is you freeing yourself from build-a-box, situations, relationships, lifestyles, you're being freed from that. So when you see that breakdown, do not be hesitant or concerned when you have to buy better hand-quality furniture and I hope that that makes sense and I hope I'm not offending anybody but that's the metaphor that is I'm getting here it's I love Ikea I mean I genuinely I love it I have a lot of pieces of Ikea here um over time though sometimes those pieces of furniture will break down because they're not always built for longevity for the long haul not all of the pieces and that's something that people notoriously know about that so when you see a situation that you have built and put work into, it's like if you see this furniture break down after like a year or two years, are you going to come out with the wood glue and try to glue it together? Um, and then it just, it just seems like it'll make that situation worse. And that's what I, I feel like Spirit is showing. It's like, you know, the grass is greener where you water it, but some grass or some situations aren't worth watering. Some things need to be, if there's sick soil, the soil needs to be tended to or else anything that you plant in that area is not going to grow. And with this horse spirit, 
Don't be afraid of freeing yourself from build a box situations. Just don't be be anything that the universe right now is going to destabilize or break down. It's time for it to be replaced with something that is more solid, more stable and 10 of pentacles and four of four of wands. It's going to be for the long haul, for long for longevity. If this friendship or this connection or this situation or this lifestyle pattern or this belief or this career is something that is not a fit for you and just is only quenching this root chakra need that is that you have or sacral or solar plexus, solar plexus need that you have or filling up this empty hole or space in your life, you, you got to free yourself from that. Now I got to know. Wow. I'm sorry to yell in your ear. Cat claim your independence and this cat has wings y'all that's <laughs> so cute i really want to just like sit with this cat right now he seems like a cool cat <laughs> be a cool cat um cats don't care you know if you come home or not <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but genuinely cats are just, as long as you feed them and you're meeting their needs, they're good. Um, they just, they're going to want to sit in the sun. They're going to want to, you know, have their freedom. They're going to want to have their freedom on their terms. And they're not quick to fix. They're not quick to, like a dog will come through and be like in your face and try to make things right if things are wrong. Cats will be like, if you're not happy or if you're angry, I literally don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Most cats, they'll just be like, I'm, I'm busy. I've got things to do. And I'm really seeing you guys channeling this aspect within yourself where you are not going to be the one to come through and try to smooth and fix all the situations. Some things need to be cut, cut free. Some things I just heard in order for you to, to I just heard literally, I heard the words you need to advance in order for you to advance. I also am hearing Greek, like I just heard like Greek food, like someone going and eating Greek food or going to Greece or listening to Greek music or Greek culture or just eating something that nourishes themselves. Why is this reversed? Is this reversed? Watch and wait. Wow. That's what I'm saying. That's literally what I've been saying with two of swords. You're going to want to wait. And I, I genuinely feel like a lot of you guys are the fixers. Do you see the three, 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 three? And then you have five, five and one are the ones that are left over. Five and one together is six. That's the double three. You have all this energy of falling into receptive feminine energy. Someone stated their, their boundary. Someone stated what they wanted. Someone asked for what they needed. And they... I don't feel like there's someone who asked for a whole lot and and someone didn't follow through with it and they're just expecting you to jump through hoops and hurdles for them when you're just like, I said what I said and I'm not backing down. Or this is a person who I just heard caretaker burnout. It's someone who's always t caring and tending for someone or caring for a lot of people and they're just like, you're on your own. I'm not making you lunch. <laughs> a boundary was stated here and the boundary was crossed. And someone or something is saying is expecting you to come through and make them feel comfortable when they consistently and continually don't take your feelings into consideration. So now this week <clears throat> you get to watch <laughs> and you get to wait and you get to focus on yourself and doing what you need to do for you. And this is going to reveal a lot of toxic patterns, a lot of it's going to reveal and then eventually you get to address these toxic patterns and cut the cord here so that it's not this repetitive loop of you serving other people. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I love spirit so much. This is like I literally spend my mornings every morning I shuffle cards and I talk to spirit and they never I'm 34 years old you guys and I'm never not surprised and I'm never not shocked by how clear these messages come through every single morning whether I'm shuffling for you or whether I'm shuffling for myself I shuffle for myself every day and I journal and I record it um 
when I shuffle for you guys at minimum once a week, sometimes more, depending on how spirit styles me dead in my tracks. Frog spirit, clear out the cutter, clutter. Wow. I just keep hearing the word advance, 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 like you're advancing. Something is advancing on you. It definitely feels like Um, like a battlefield. I mean, I, I with everything that's going on in the world right now, I'm not even surprised. And we also have two horses here. We have the seahorse and we have the regular horse, or earth, the earth horse is what I'll call it. Wow. Also, we have masculine energy here because the seahorse concentrates on masculine. And frog gives me a lot of fat, like the seed that's being planted into the masculine. So someone else needs to show up. Someone else needs to show up. If you're watching this video, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not you. 15% of you, maybe it'll be you. Most, most of you, someone else needs to show up for you. And it's going to be a masculine energy. Or if it's not a masculine energy, it's a feminine, like a, a female who she needs to be the one to reach out to you and you have to wait and until then you you're just doing your own thing girlfriend you go and you book yourself a nice dinner somewhere i do that all the time most of my money that i've ever made and saved even when i was you know broke which i never even said felt like i never spoke that over my life even if i my bank account might have been but I would always, I would give myself a good meal. I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing and smelling Greek food right now. Um, it's morning time where I'm at. So, and I have my plans for the, for today panned out and I don't have Greek food on the menu, although I wish I did. Um, or it's like Greek culture or maybe something going on with Greece or maybe someone's booking a trip, a vacation. Go. I love you guys, man. I freaking love you guys. Um. I hope that you're well. It, again, like I said, it feels really good to be back. Don't be surprised if I shuffle again midweek. I can definitely feel it. I've also, in my last video, you guys were, I think it was like the queen. Queen, what are you going to do? Um, you guys requested a six of swords, seven of swords. Oh my God, that's so true. And now here we are. Yeah. Or maybe this is a continuation to that because seven of swords was showing up. This, I honestly feel like this is a continuation of that. If you didn't see last week's video, guys, I'm going to link that down below too. I definitely feel like this is a storytelling. And if you didn't get your copy of um, the complete guide for 2022, you're going to need it. I'm And I, I create it not to make money off of it. I create it because it's essential. I'm a Virgo man. So Virgo moon, Virgo Mars, Virgo sun. I don't put energy into things that I don't feel are like essentials and you're, you're really going to need it. If you don't, if you're not a witch or if you don't do magic, just skip over the portion of the spells that is that I wrote for those, um, or, um, any type of ritual sessions that is I wrote. That's just my practice. However, literally every single week of this year is broken down. And this year,